Oregon State University is located in Corvallis. One of the great figures associated with the university was Dr. Linus Pauling, the only person to ever win the Nobel Prize in two different fields, chemistry and peace. Steve Lawson with the Linus Pauling Institute talks about Pauling's life. Linus Pauling was one of the greatest chemists who ever lived and actually in a, a Millennium essay in Nature magazine published in 2000, he was considered one of the most influential visionaries and thinkers of the millennium and certainly the greatest chemist of the 20th century. The reason his chemistry is held in such high regard is that he really developed the concept of the chemical bond, that is the bond that holds atoms together and forms molecules. Prior to Pauling's work, uh, this really was not well understood or, nor elucidated, and Pauling really revolutionized chemistry with this discovery. This, of course, led to his Nobel Prize in 1954, which is awarded for chemistry. But Pauling had a very uh, unusual career that was full of insight and discoveries in many different fields. Uh, in the 1930s and 1940s, he became very interested in biological problems and is considered by Francis Crick, who discovered the structure of DNA, to be one of the major founders of the science of molecular biology. Dr. Pauling and his wife, Ava Helen, met when Dr. Pauling was an undergraduate at Oregon Agricultural College, which now, is, of course, is Oregon State University. He was asked to teach chemistry to a group of home economics students, and his future wife was in that class. They began dating and then later married. And uh, Dr. Pauling felt that this was one of the most serendipitous experiences of his life. Uh, his bond with his wife, the marital bond, if you will, was extremely important to him. Um, and his wife was extremely influential in his career and personal life as well. She was the one who first became most concerned about the rampant proliferation of nuclear weapons and the possible deleterious consequences of radioactive fallout and she encouraged her husband to speak out about these problems. So with, uh, with his wife, he set about trying to educate the public and fellow citizens about these dangers and this did not put him in good stead with the government. Uh, he was very courageous of course to do this and was called before Congress uh, to divulge the names of the people that had helped him to get 11,000 signatures on, it, on a petition that was submitted to the United Nations calling for an end for atmospheric testing of atomic weapons. When he refused to divulge the names of people that had helped him, he was threatened with imprisonment. Yet that did not deter him. He showed enormous courage in this McCarthy era in refusing to cooperate with the government. And of course, for these efforts, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for 1962.